Sexual assault is happening everywhere, and we need to have those hard conversations to help recognize signs and help any victims. Today, we're talking with GBMC Health Partners' Laura Clary with the Safe and Domestic Violence Program. Hi, Laura. Hi. So tell us about sexual assault and what is different between sexual assault and sexual abuse. So sexual assault is any kind of sexual contact or activity um, that is done without the explicit consent of the victim. Um, and typically we see this in our older population. Um, sexual abuse is, is when we typically think of children um, and vulnerable adults as well. And that too is any type of sexual contact or activity that um, is done by someone who has care and custody or is in a authoritarian um, position over the victim. So a teacher, a coach, um, a family member, somebody that lives in the home. So that's what really differentiates the two. Okay, how common is sexual assault and child abuse in our area? Um, unfortunately, it's very common. Um, we are right in line with the national statistics, so up to one in four women um, and one in 10 men will be a victim of some form of sexual violence at some point in their lifetime. Um, and the same thing with child abuse, uh, about one in 10 kids will be a victim of sexual abuse uh, before the age of 18. Wow, so what do you do if you think that a friend or a family member is a victim of sexual assault or sexual abuse? I think uh, the most important thing to do is to just be there to support them and uh, let them know that you believe them and make sure that they know that no matter what they did, nobody deserves something like this to happen to them. A lot of times these victims feel very alone. So just being there to hold their hand and support them. Um, and I think being a great supporter is also knowing your resources and knowing what is available for you in the community so that you can help point them in the right direction. What are some of the resources that are there? So at GBMC, mm -hmm. we do provide a service. We are 24 seven, 365 day a year, open all the time. Um, we see patients of sexual assault, child abuse, both physical and sexual, um, human trafficking, um, relationship violence, like intimate partner violence and teen dating violence. We have forensic nurses that are all trained and certified to care for these patients. And we also have victim advocates that come in and really provide crisis support and emotional grounding and can also help link them to some of our community partners in the area. Wow, so is there a website or anything that people can go to to see those tips and then kind of get more information about what you guys offer? Yes, um, you can go to the GBMC SAFE website, which is www gbmc.org slash safe. Okay, so if somebody thinks that they actually need help, what do they do? Can they just go to the ER? So they can come in through the emergency department. Um, we highly recommend this to somebody who is in what we call the acute stage. So within the first week of, of, this, of something like this happening, if they can come into the ER, we can give them that wonderful medical treatment in addition to also a medical forensic exam. Um, if this is something that's happened uh, quite a long time ago, you can always call us. We can mm -hmm. do telephone consults, um, again, to give you any kind of resources that you need and help link you to other places in the community for long-term counseling. All right, Laura, thank you so much for sharing all of that wonderful information with us and for giving us the tips where we can, um, the actual website where we can go thank to you. get all of that information. Thank you for being here.